Soyuz Trademark 17 was a Russian mission to the space station Mir, launched on July 1, 1993. It lasted 196 days and 17 hours, making more than 3,000 orbits of the planet Earth. The Soyuz Trademark Crew Transports T Transportni Transportni, meaning transport, M Modify Sirovani Modifit Sirovani, meaning modified, were fourth generation 1986 to 2002 Soyuz spacecraft used for ferry flights to the Mir and ISS space stations. It added to the Soyuz T new docking and rendezvous, radio communications, emergency and integrated parachute, landing engine systems. The new Kurs rendezvous and docking system permitted the Soyuz trademark to maneuver independently of the station, without the station making mirror image maneuvers to match unwanted translations introduced by earlier models aft mounted attitude control. Topic. Crew Topic. Mission highlights Soyuz Trademark 17 was the 17th expedition to the Russian space station Mir. At 7.37, 11 a.m. Moscow time, MT, on 1994 January 14, Soyuz Trademark 17 separated from the forward port of the Mir station. At 7.43, 59 a.m., the Mission Control Center in Korolev TSUP, ordered Sibliev to steer Soyuz Trademark 17 to within 15 meters of the crystal module to begin photography of the APAS-89 docking system. At 7.46, 20 a.m., Sibliev complained that Soyuz Trademark 17 was handling sluggishly. Serebrov, standing by for photography in the orbital module, then asked Sibliev to move the spacecraft out of the station plane because it was coming close to one of the solar arrays. In Mir, Viktor Afanasyev ordered Valery Polyakov and Yuri Yuzashyov to evacuate to the Soyuz Trademark 18 spacecraft. At 7.47, 30 a.m., controllers in the TSUP saw the image from Soyuz Trademark 17's external camera shake violently, and Serebrov reported that Soyuz Trademark 17 had hit Mir. The TSUP then lost communications with Mir and Soyuz Trademark 17. Intermittent communications were restored with Soyuz Trademark 17 at 7.52 a.m. Voice communications with Mir were not restored until 8.02 a.m. Inspection of Soyuz Trademark 17 indicated no serious damage. In this connection, the Russians revealed that they had studied contingency re-entries by depressurized spacecraft in the wake of the Soyuz 11 accident. The Mir cosmonauts did not feel the impact, though the station's guidance system registered angular velocity and switched to free-flying mode. Later analysis indicated that the right side of the orbital module had struck Mir two glancing blows two seconds apart. The impact point was on crystal, near its connection to the Mir base block. The cause of the impact was traced to a switch error, the hand controller in the orbital module which governed braking and acceleration was switched on, disabling the equivalent hand controller the left motion control lever in the descent module. Sibliev was able to use the right lever to steer the Soyuz past Mir's solar arrays, antennas, and docking ports after it became clear impact was inevitable. <laughs> 